Hello everybody, today we're going to go through another uh, music lesson in our complete a video and two hour challenge and today we're going to be talking about the circle of fifths. What is the circle of fifths? Well, it's an outcome of the 12 tone system that we work in in Western music and that is that all music uh, it can be made from the 12 tones. Okay, so from those 12 tones we can then derive scales those scales are related to each other by a fifth, okay? So that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna demonstrate uh, what, the, what the circle of fifths is, okay? Let me go ahead and pull that up over here. So we start with, on the piano, uh, we have C. So we start with C right here, okay? And C, if I play the scale, You'll see that uh, uh, that none that none of the hold on let's see if I can there we go. okay none of the of the black notes were played see that none of the accidentals were played so therefore with the uh, key signature has no accidentals okay uh, the corresponding uh, minor uh, scale to that is A minor. So C, C major, A minor, and it has no sharps or flats, so we put a natural sign there. Okay, we're going to be moving in the direction of a, what are called the sharps. So our next one is a fifth up from C, I and mean, that's G. So what scale, what major scale can we build off of G major? So three major notes, leading tone. So in order to build a scale off of G major, we have to raise F sharp, okay? So on our notes, I might have to zoom in a little. There we go. And let me just move this over there. There we are. So on our, on the uh, staff, the treble clef, we put F sharp right there. In the bass clef, F sharp begins here. F sharp, F sharp. And this is for our G major scale. The corresponding minor scale to that is E minor. And if I play that. So that's E natural minor. Okay. And it has one sharp. So one sharp. Our next scale is a fifth above G, D. So we drop down there. And to build a major scale, we've already sharped the F. And let me make that a little bit finer. Okay. So we've already sharped the F. Yeah, how's the Okay, good. Just make sure you making sure you guys can still see that. So F sharp. So we, we know it starts on D, because D is a fifth above G. All right. And F is already sharped because we're moving in the direction. So it adopts all the new scales, adopt the, the um, uh, accidentals of the previous scale a fifth up. So F sharp. We have the leading tone, C sharp. C sharp. Okay, so that's our D major scale. And then the uh, corresponding minor uh, um, scale built off of that is what's called the third below. And that's built on B minor. So we put a B there. 
and there are two sharps. So we put two sharps at that location. All right, moving on to our next, our next degree, scale degree. Uh, actually, it's not scale degree. It's uh, our next um, scale on the circle of fifths, and that is we, we start at D, and we jump up a fifth. And now we're on A. So our scale, we know, starts on A, A major. And of course, C is still sharp. So we added a sharp, we added G sharp in order to make a, the, a major scale. And what, what constitutes a major scale? Three whole notes followed by a half note, whole note, whole note, whole note, half note. Whole note, whole note, whole note, half note. And the holes and the halves have to do with uh, their, uh, their relation to each other. As we said, there are 12 tones, so if I play a 12-tone scale... I played all 12 tones. That's also what is known as a chromatic uh, a chromaticism, meaning that every single tone is used. If we restrict them. So, whole, half step, whole, 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 half. So three whole, one half, four whole, one half. That is your major scale. So A major, A major. Then we need our F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. That's in our treble clef, in our bass clef. F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Very good. And the corresponding minor key, uh, minor um, scale, to A major is F sharp minor, because if you go down three a minor, you have to go down a minor step. If you went down a major, hear the difference? Major, minor. So F sharp minor. You'll notice that on this uh, on the uh, keys, I press down. Three of the notes have been have been uh, um, made accidental. They've been sharped. So therefore, the third, three sharps. All right, next one. Oh, there we go. Hopefully, you can see that. I'd have to zoom out a little. Let's see here. If I wish I could just zoom in on that one location, but it's off to the side. Hopefully you can see that still. Yes, you can. Good. Okay. So moving on to our next scale degree, it is the fifth up from A, E major. So that's the scale. And then the corresponding minor is C sharp minor. So it's not D flat, right? It's it is three note th three notes down. So three note names down. So three D so th E D C but then you have to sharp it. So E and then C sharp minor. Okay? The corresponding uh, uh, key signature to that So sharp, we sharp the F and the C, always borrowing from before. And I know in a previous video, I believe that, I believe it was A major, um, my, my treble clef was all off. I had my F starting down here as opposed to up there. So I apologize for that. So. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and then D sharp. 
And you'll notice that the last sharp that we add is always what's called the leading tone to the uh, to the scale name. D sharp, E, D sharp, E. In fact, if I build a the uh, um, the dominant off of that, so this is E major, so the dominant is. So notice that the third of the fifth is the leading tone. Okay, that's what gives it that anticipation forward. So F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. And this has four sharps. Now we're moving into the fun territory, and that is what are called enharmonic. So these, uh, these scales actually have two names for the same uh, set of keys, depending on the way that they're going to be used. So we're going to just work with the sharp side right now. And so the fifth above E is B. So we know that the scale starts on B. It's a B major scale. Let's go ahead and do the minor from that. So remember, we have to go down three notes. So it's G, but we have to sharp it. So it's G sharp minor is the natural scale or the natural scale that also shares the same time signature key signature not time signature and this is the fifth scale degree so it has fifth five sharps and what does it look like on the key signature so notice there are two one of them is for the flats one of them is for the sharps so the sharp is going to be up here so we know that there is an f sharp because of all the previous ones F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and what's our new one? So if I play it, A sharp. A sharp is our new, our newest um, accidental. Okay, and then in the bass, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Um, e sharp, uh, right? Did I miss one? F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, um, D sharp, yes, D sharp, and A sharp, D sharp, A sharp. Okay, so once again. B major scale with five sharps. Now, going on to our sixth scale degree, so we know I'm going to go ahead and write six here because we know it has to have six sharps following the pattern. And we go with a fifth up from B. Ah, now we're starting to build our scales off of accidentals themselves. So this is built on F sharp. So it's the F sharp major. And the corresponding minor to that is, so F sharp, it would have to be D sharp. D sharp minor. So D sharp. And what does the uh, key signature look like for that? In the treble clef, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and then notice this has to have the leading tone to F sharp. So the leading tone to F sharp is, so we have E and you sharp E and you get the leading tone to F sharp. So there is our E sharp in the bass clef. It looks like this, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and E sharp. Very good. Moving on to our next scale, 
it's our final one. So F, F sharp, the fifth above F sharp is C, C sharp. The corresponding minor chord would be, we can actually, we can either build it out or we can take a look at our top portion here, C and A, C major, A minor. So if it's C sharp major, then it must be A sharp minor. A sharp minor. This has seven sharps. It's our last scale on the sharp side of the house, so to speak. Now, the key signature for that looks like everything that we have done so far, just with the addition of one more sharp. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and our final sharp is B sharp, the leading tone to C sharp. That is, the, that is the complete key signature for C sharp major in the treble clef, in the bass clef, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, oh, undo, A sharp, E sharp, and running out of room, <laughs> B sharp. Okay, it's quite messy. Let me see if I can make that any better. Uh, da -dum. There we go. And redraw it. So B sharp. Okay, so those are all of our sharp keys and if you play them back to back oh come on now zoom out now i don't think it wants to zoom out Grab the, there we go being a little slow okay so c so i'm going to play them back to back there's our c major g good and then D major, D major, up a fifth. Notice I can go up a fifth and then down the octave. A major, E major, E major, B major, good, up a fifth, F sharp, F sharp major, and then our final one, C sharp. And those are all of our sharp scales. Now let's look at the minor what are called the minor scales, built on the minor scale degree. Okay, so starting first with just the left hand of the C sharp major scale. Now the interesting thing about this is these are scale degrees that are built uh, the fourth below. So if I have, uh, sorry, the, the fifth, if you go in the opposite direction, so they're built on the fifth below the current uh, um, scale. So if we start on C, and if I jump down a fifth, it is built. This would be a major scale that's built on F, uh, on the note F. Notice, half step, right? Okay. So, F, G, A, it has to be some flavor of B but it's not it, because we can't have a a sharp it has to be b it, it would have to be b flat because we took the note and then we had to drop it okay so that is b flat that is our first that is our first accidental
So the accidental for F major is B flat. Okay. And of course, that's the name of the scale. The minor, the corresponding minor chord or um, scale built on that is D. Drop a minor or uh, drop a minor third and you get D minor. And it has one flat. Next one. We start on F and drop a fifth. Notice we, if I just go to B, we have what's called a tritone. That's not a fifth. There we go. So there's our fifth. So that means it's built on B flat. So this is the B flat major scale. The corresponding minor scale to that is G. Notice a minor third below. So G minor. This has two flats, so you can see the pattern. And what are those flats? We go ahead and build it. B flat. So we can go ahead and label that because we know that a B flat has to occur in the scale. Ah, E flat. So remember, three major notes followed by a half note. So E flat is our accidental, our second accidental in the B flat major scale or in the G minor scale. Excellent. Moving on to our next, our next scale. This is the fifth below B flat. It's E flat major. The corresponding minor scale uh, is C minor. And this has three flats. What are those flats? B flat, E flat. Let's go ahead and play through. Notice once again, three whole notes followed by a half step, which has to be A flat. A flat. B flat, E flat, A flat in the bass clef. Our play. E flat major. Our next, uh, our, our our next scale degree. It will have four flats in it. You can see the pattern. No, no accidentals. One accidental, two, three. So we know that this has to have four flats. And what are those flats? Well, we take our E flat and we drop a fifth. We get A, A flat major. And F is the corresponding minor scale with the same key signature. So what does that key signature look like? B flat, E flat, A flat, borrowed from our previous scale, B flat. E flat, A flat. And then what's our second one? So if I start on E flat, notice once again, three whole notes followed by a half half note, three whole steps followed by a half step. So it has to be D flat. D flat. And there is our is our A flat major scale or F minor. Now we're moving into the territory of what are called enharmonics. And these are the three at the very bottom of the circle of fifths. And so we already know that one name for this uh, particular set of notes is F sharp major. Well, there's also the, if we go uh, start on A flat, and we drop a fifth, we get D flat. So this is also the D flat major scale. And they will share, they will look the same on the piano. And you have to know the context, whether it is a C sharp uh, major scale or a D sharp minor or a D flat minor scale. Okay. We know that this will have to have, if we have four flats, it has to have five flats. 
the corresponding minor scale is three notes down from D, so it would have to be B and B flat. B flat minor. And as you see, this note on the on the keyboard can be either A sharp or B flat, depending on the context. So what does the key signature look like for this? B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and then what's our next one? G flat, and we go down here. Did I miss one? I have a feeling I did. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. No. Okay. This is built a little differently than the sharps. Notice these have three. Uh, it, it, it's a set of three in the key signature. With flats, it does a corresponding pattern all the way down, alternating like a sawtooth. So that's for our. That is for our treble clef. Now for the bass clef. B flat, E flat, A flat, and then we need our F. What do we need now? D flat, and then finally our G. Our G flat, right, right there. So that is our treble and bass clef for D flat major. If I play that. D flat major or C sharp major. Once again, depending on the context. Our sixth. Uh, I might have to move this over just to make room. There we go. So this has six flats as well as six sharps. This is the exact middle. And if we go start on D flat and we drop a fifth, we get G flat. G flat major. And if I build out the scale for that, if I start to play, okay, we already know that we're going to need B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. G flat, right? And then what's our next one? So, oh, I, I was on the wrong one, right? So we need B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and then C flat. That's what we need, C flat. Because, see, we have to draw, take C and drop it. Okay, so C flat. And in our bass clef, that is B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. And our corresponding minor uh, scale is a third below, so it's at, it's going to be after, it's going to have to be some flavor of E, but a minor, so it's going to be E flat minor. Okay. E flat E and F uh, flat minor natural natural E flat minor. All right, and our final scale degree is we t we start on G, right, G flat, drop a fifth, C flat major. So you can see the similarity, the, um, what's the word, symmetry here at the bottom. If this is C sharp major, C flat minor on the other side. So C flat minor, which is the same. It's in harmonic with B. B major. Need to move this one over as well. Okay. And what is the corresponding 
minor scale degree. If it's if we start on C, C sharp minor, and we have to drop a third, it will be um, F. It'll have to be F flat. Oh, I'm on the wrong one, right? So it's actually um, A, A flat, A flat minor. Okay. Very good. And then the flat scales for that, or the uh, the um, key signature for that is B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. G flat, E flat, right? So and then finally our very last one would be F minor. So F flat is our final our final accidental. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, mm -hmm. G flat, E flat, and finally, F flat. Man, when you don't write these a whole lot, it gets crazy. <laughs> a lot of and oh and this one is incorrect that i put that on the wrong on the wrong position that should be that should be c c flat all right very good so that is our that is our keys our uh, circle of fifths all filled out and played in the opposite direction. C, F, B, B, B flat major, E flat major, A flat, A flat major, and then D flat. Oh, too high. There we go. D flat major, G flat. G flat major, and finally C sharp, C flat major. we go so this has been the circle of fifths um, I will include in, in the uh, in the video uh, details a completely filled out version of the circle of fifths um, I just realized I'll have to make one modification but um, it, it, it's a complete uh, version of the uh, of the circle of fifths and this exercise sheet will also be um, available in black and white so you'll be able to print it out and fill it out so you can follow along practice building out your key signatures well, thank you very much for watching this has been make a video in two hour challenge day 12 i believe is what we're on so uh thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day Bye bye